Hey Eagles, it's Bella from Eagle News, and today we're going to be learning about 7th grade math teacher Mr. Holt. Let's go! What's your name and what team and grade do you teach in? I'm Mr. Holt. I teach in 7th grade math. I'm on team 701 and 702. What inspired you to become a teacher? Well, years ago when I was trying to decide what I wanted to do in college, I talked to both my parents and both had regrets about not becoming teachers. Uh, my mom actually was certified to be a teacher, but she never actually pursued her career in that. And then my dad just always thought, man, it would have been awesome if I would have done education. So both, te both parents were basically saying, hey, I regret not doing it. So I, th I looked into it and I really liked it. Why did you choose to teach math? Um, I loved school in general, um, so I kind of just narrowed it down to my few favorite subjects to choose my uh, path, and uh, science and math were my two favorites. Um, I really like math because of the structure, so. Do you have any family in Ohio? My whole family is in Ohio. Um, I have four brothers. Um, I have two half-brothers and two step-brothers. It's confusing. Um, I have two children, Hayden and Ashlyn. Hayden is six, Ashlyn is nine, and my wife, uh, Diana, she is. Uh, she also works in education. She's in a preschool. She sells dresses and she sells skincare products. She does everything. She takes care of me and the kids too, so she's like a saint. What is the hardest thing you are faced with being a teacher? Uh, the hardest thing that I notice is just motivation, keeping kids motivated to do uh, the right thing first and then just to do their work. Um, I think that's uh, just a general problem that we've always had as a society is just making sure people make good choices. And in, when they do make bad choices, finding ways to come up with solutions to help them move forward. What college did you go to? The Ohio State University twice. I graduated with my bachelor's in geography, then my master's in education. Do you think you'll still be teaching in the next five years? I hope so, but I'm not going to lie and say I haven't considered other things. Uh, definitely with just things that have happened, you know, in my career and over the time and how things have changed, I've thought, you know, I, I wonder what else I could do. Um, but I, I really enjoy my job. I love working with the kids. Um, I like seeing kids grow, especially when I originally was in sixth grade, now in seventh grade. Um, I get to see kids for multiple years in a row, and I can see how they, they change and grow throughout Hyatt's. What is something that, surprised, that you're surprised with every day you teach? Uh, whew, every day is a surprise, but I think generally, uh, and this is generally speaking, I, I'm surprised that uh, just how every kid is different and how, you know, just a simple smile can change the day for most people. Uh, and kids really are here to, they want to learn, they want to have fun, and, you know, generally they want to get better uh, and they want to learn. So uh, I, I think that's just the biggest surprise every day is that just the kids, something new every day. Thank you, Mr. Thanks for being a great teacher, Mr. Holt. His goal this year is to make more students like math. So if you have him in class, try give it a try and enjoy his class a little bit more. I'm Bella from Eagle News. Thanks for watching.